Hello everybody, my name is John Hezakis and I want to present about the OASIS pivotal trial that evaluates the safety and efficacy of the Renova iStim system for the treatment of women with OAB. This on behalf of the consortium that is conducting this study. These are my disclosures. The OASIS trial evaluates the effect of the Renova Interstim neuromodulator for OAB in women. The system exists of a Renova iStim implantable stimulator, as can be seen here, which is about three centimeters long and is positioned very close to the tilvial nerve on the inside of the lower leg. It is connected to a patient wearable that powers the stimulator and has effect without having an implanted battery. And it is connected to a clinician programmer that can evaluate the use and also adjust the parameters. This is how it is and how it goes. There is equipment which is standard. There is the system. There is the patient leg. And it is a surgical approach that implants the stimulator very close to the tibial nerve under the fascia. Certain things should not happen. And if the stimulator is tested and in place, it is fixed to the fascia with unsorbable, unresorbable sutures. The skin is closed and the procedure is finished. This takes about 20 to 30 minutes. First, there was a safety study done between 2015 and 2015. 17 in 36 patients consisting of men and women who were refractory to medications for OAB and were suffering from urinary incontinence and also urinary frequency. The adverse event in this study were minor. There was one serious adverse event of the stimulator that had to be explanted and the result of this was that the troubles had resolved. 16 of the 36 patients experienced adverse events that all were resolved at month six. Looking at the efficacy, we can see that after six months, about 71% had more than 50% reduction in complaints of number of voids per day, leaks per day, or the urgency prior to void. Long-term after three years showed that the effect after six months of 71% increased even to 75% in three years time. So the safety of this pilot study was okay and the effect was as expected and perhaps even better. So the next study is going on now that is to evaluate the efficacy but also safety of the implanted siften in more patients. So the efficacy and safety are assessed in this OASIS study. It is a prospective interventional single arm open label study. There are 150 evaluative, evaluable subjects needed that will, will be enrolled across 30 sites in Europe as well as the United States. Inclusion is closed at this moment, and the patient population consists of women suffering from OAB and also have urgency incontinence. The study visits are as follows. There is enrollment and screening. Then there is the implantation of the Renova iStim system. There is activation after four weeks of implantation 
and then there is follow-up after one month, three months, six months, nine months, and one year, and that also includes efficacy and safety. Looking at the numbers that have been implanted so far and have been analyzed so far, this is about 67 implantable, uh, implanted subjects and 12 of those reached 12 month follow up, so ended the study already. At this moment, 150 patients are included, not yet operated, but the study is closed for inclusion. 67 subjects were evaluated in the population and we had 60 adverse events in 23 subjects, which is about one third of the total, who experienced at least one adverse event. There were three subjects with a serious adverse event, none of which were device related or procedure related. The adverse events that were related to the procedure or uh, to the device was one that was perhaps related to the device and two that were related to the procedure. So all in all, this seems to be a safe procedure with good results as we hope and we are anxious to see the end of the study and also the results, of course. Thank you very much for your attention.